So this video will be about where will Matt Duchesne be traded. Earlier this morning, I seen a thing saying Joe Sackick, the GM of the Colorado Avalanche, is shopping, which means look is looking at offers for Matt Duchesne. Here are five teams that I think he could be traded to. So number one, I have the Edmonton Oilers. I have them as my third team to win the Stanley Cup this year. And I just gave away basically my idea for two videos. I mean, for not the next video, but the next after that. So the Edmonton Oilers could give them a package of Jesse Poliarvi, Pol two draft picks, and maybe, hmm, who else? And Ryan Nugent Hopkins. So Jesse Poliarvi, Pol Pol two draft picks, and Ryan Nugent Hopkins for Matt Duchesne. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So team number four is the Columbus Blue Jackets. The Columbus Blue Jackets can offer Steph Jones and a draft pick for Matt Duchesne. Would that go through? Probably not. So you would have to add in at least add in a young player. I would say don't. I say add in Pierre Luc Dubois. 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 Number three, the Nashville Predators. Now the Predators can give them. Nick Benino, Scott Hartnell, and two draft picks. I don't know what's worth me meaning draft picks for Matt Duchesne. So Nick Benino, Scott Hartnell, and two draft picks for Matt Duchesne. Team number two. I have the Ottawa Senators. Don't get mad at me. Not just because I'm a Sense fan, but they can offer Thomas Shabbat, Colin White. Draft picks, Ben Harper, and Cody Cece. That's six players, which are HL potential for Matt Duchesne. I would accept that. I'm surprised I don't have them at number one. Now, at number one, I have the Los Angeles Kings. You could give them Jake Musson and Marion Gabrick and at least three draft picks. So, three draft picks. So, Jake Musson, Marion Gabrick, and three draft picks for Matt Duchesne. Now, I'm going to look at Matt Duchesne's contract and see how much years and how much money he is getting paid in his contract. Well, his contract. I'm just saying, I wish I had a jersey for every single team in the NHL because I would wear it every single video that I'm talking about a player. My next video will be... My standing predictions for the NHL. Actually, yeah. That will be my next video will be my standings predictions. I have them all written out. They're over here. I'll give you a quick sneak peek. Okay, I'm gonna have to rewrite the whole thing now um on my PS3 looking for Matt Duchesne. So Matt I'm just gonna put Matt D to see if anybody would show up and Matt Duchesne is getting paid six million dollars for the next oh okay so his contract expires next year so this year he will play and then the year after that he will be a ufa now his contract doesn't show here so that's good so six million dollars let me see how much cody cc is getting paid cody cc is getting paid two point eight hundred million dollars wait Cody CC should RFA next year Ottawa can lose Cody CC so if they trade him 
him, Shabbat, Colin White, and five, maybe even four draft picks to Colorado. Okay, my phone's at five. That would be good because Matt Duchesne would be basically a one-year rental, and so would Cody Ceci. But you would still get, like, um, what's his face? Tom Shabbat, so that would be horrible. That's how I'm going to end the video, so I'm going to have to rewrite my NHL standings prediction. I mean, my NHL standings prediction. I started this video at 2, I mean, at 12.30, and it's 1.02 right now. It's 102 because I paused the video to find it and everything. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It took me 32 minutes to do this video, even though it only says 5. Go subscribe to Anderson's Cards and Collecting. Call on man 12-1709 who's going to start uploading videos again. And Basketball Maniacs, I am out. We are 3 subscribers from the 3-0. And then my subscriber special will be at like... Maybe 40 subscribers, peace.